Hey scribers, just want to go over uh, doing a deck comment here using gunny sacks. So gunny sacks really excel when you have the problem of needing to report on multiple defects with the same system. So in this case there is a deck with a bunch of stuff wrong, so let's go over that. So wood decks, we're in my wood deck section here, so they're present, and that gives me just a little link to the DCA6 for the client. And then I'm also going to use my wood deck gunny sack, so that's going to, boom, I get this comment. Obviously you see lots of yellow, we'll explain all that here in a bit. Uh, so structure was ground contact treated wood, the ledger board was non-standard, the guardrail was standard, decking material was softwood, and post beams and footings were not fully visible. So that's just really quick. Now, you can. there's a whole bunch you'll notice like under um, ledger board, for example, I mean, we could actually get a whole bunch of defects and stuff and put those in. And that's the way most people typically, when I read a lot of reports, they often have five, six, seven repair items within deck. So I, in my th way of thinking, I just want one repair item, which is like, wow, there's a lot wrong with the decks or, or just a few things wrong. So let's, let's unpack this gunny sack. If I double click this yellow text replacement here, I basically have three options. And these are the three options you're really likely to use on a deck, right? That either tune-up repairs are needed, extensive repairs are needed, or the deck's really messed up and needs to be rebuilt. So in this case, I'm going to stick with this middle one that just extensive repairs are needed. So we've got that guy, and if we read this, it says extensive repairs are needed to the decking systems on this building. I'm going to recommend additional inspection by, um, by a qualified contractor, implement repairs, or update this deck as recommended for safety and reliability. Well, that's cool, but it's not very specific yet, right? That's just a very general directive statement. Um, Examples of specific observations noted during inspection include, well, that's good. Now we're getting a little more specific. So we, this is really cool. These are the gunny sacks, and I basically made lists of defects with all these different systems. Now, if you don't click on one of these, it will not print in the report. So let's start, and let's just grab a bunch of pictures. You can see this picture has some rotted decking at the stairs. Uh, what else? We've got a ledger board that's missing bolts and lateral load connections. Um, I jumped inside the garage before I got to the back deck. Now I want to take a moment and talk about procedure. This is why I like to do, you know, everyone's talking about, oh, let's do our reports on site. Well, in this case, there were two decks here. One was on the front and one was on the back. And if I try to do this as I go, it's just frustrating. You have to keep kind of opening things back up. So I prefer to often just take a bunch of pictures and you can see how fast this gets when, when you get back to the office. Uh, so n notice I'm just clicking on all the deck pictures that I want to click on. And I think that's it. So we're going to drag those ones in. And there we've got a bunch of pictures to work with. So let's go through and start thinking about, um, I might actually crop this one and just rotate it around. Um, I think I just took that from the other side of the stair. That looks better. All right. So we're, we're kind of ready to rock and roll with our pictures. Um, and you can see we're getting pretty detailed now. I've already got, what, one, two, three, four, six, uh, 12 pictures in here. So let's start. What, what was wrong with this deck? Well, the ledger board, it wasn't bolted correctly. Um, and ledger flashings were missing. Um, we could throw in lateral load connectors. Eh, it's modern code, maybe maybe more prudent to, to put that in. So that's that's... So, boy, instantly I've already got three things. Incorrect bolting, ledger flashing missing, lateral load connections. Uh, guardrails were fine, floor structure, uh, posts, footings, positive connections, deck stairs, rim joists, skirting, deck ventilation, decking surfaces. The deck was slippery. Decking surfaces are installed in contact with the siding. So I've got those two guys, and then wood decking. Wood decay was noted. Um, I'm going to do extensive wood decay was noted, uh, and decking was slippery, and the deck is wearing, deck stain finish is wearing and needs updating. We'll include that one. So, well, now we're getting really specific, right? We've got 
all these different comments of what's what's going on. So, I mean, really, I, I could be kind of done, but I, I want to caption some of these. So um, I'll often do this on the mobile with voice to text. In this case, the client was with me, so it was kind of hard. So uh, wood decay noted in entry stairs. Actually, I actually have a better way. I'll show you a cooler way to do this. We can go through all of them. I hit save and close, but you can actually just use this arrow. So let's do a little rectangle here. So we're getting even more specific, right? We're starting to talk about what you know these actual defects are that we found. So um, there was water damage here. So I'm going to use this ellipse. Look at that. We're showing exactly where it is. We've said what we've found. This is getting more and more specific. You see how fun this is. You're kind of drilling down. It gets more and more specific. Um, so in this case, I was reaching under the deck, and there's rotted sheathing. So rotted sheathing was discovered below the back deck ledger. Right. Oops, I forgot my the trick. I, I always do that. I would expect concealed damage below here. And again, we're going to just. So again, we're just kind of, ah, keep forgetting, forgetting. I, my instinct is to hit save and close. Sorry about that. We'll get, the, we'll get it right this time. I'm going to show where that wood decay is. This is what I keep meaning to do is hit that guy. So you see how we're just starting to add more and more detail with all these defects. All right, now we'll save and close. So you see how we did that? I mean, we spent a bit of time here. I've been making this video for nine minutes. So I spent nine minutes on this. Um, but boy, you see how specific it starts to get. Um, we've got all these specific things that are wrong and a good general statement that covers ourselves. So anyway, I hope this helps. That's um, just an example of um, writing up a bunch of deck stuff. Um, again, you know, you could make this a lot faster. You could be less specific. So a lot of this just depends on how specific you want to be. But um, to me, spending five or ten minutes writing, you know, this is some serious stuff. They're going to end up spending some money on this. And I, I'll probably even spend a little more time doctoring this up a little bit. I've got a lot of water damage here. But um, I don't know. I think this, this handles and covers it pretty well. You know, we could even add, um, we could add a, a couple illustrations here. Um, 
I love Charlie's, uh, we could add lateral load connections. And that's actually on TGI, which this, this house had. And he's got a nice bolting one that I'll often put in. All right, guys, so I just opened up and published a finished report. Let's just go to the deck section and we'll kind of have a look. But this is what it will end up looking like, that um, uh, extensive repairs are needed, examples noted, ledger board, deck services, wood decking, and then there are all the defects with the... Uh, the pictures so it's a really pretty fast way I mean I've been like talking while I do it this whole video is probably 10 minutes or something and so you can see you know once you get it down and you're not making a video you can often do this instead of five to seven minutes something like that um, it really again a lot of this is like it can go super fast if you want it to you just get less specific um, I could be a lot more specific too and spend twice as much time so um, but you can start to see with these gunny sacks how you can really layer the specificity in and go as deep as you want or as quickly as you want. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Cheers.